Okay, rockmanfighthype.com here with the man, Keith One Time Thurman. What's How up, are you today? Up, man? Good, man. Hanging out, coming here to show my boy Cherry some love, man. Right on. St. Petersburg represent. Right on. Now, you had him in training camp. How did that go? It was how good, did, how man. Um, strong, man. Edna, you know, he's a veteran, man. He's been in this game for a long time. He trains hard. He still has the same hunger, man. He loves the fight game, you know, just like every other fighter, man, out there trying to support their families, man, to make their dreams come true, man. Uh, he had a close call last time. A lot of people thought he won that fight, and now he's here trying to bounce back, man. Right. Now, how do you expect him to do tonight against Rhodes? You know, Edna's strong points, you know, a lot of times that his right hand is really strong. You know, he's a pressure fighter. It's a 10-round fight, you know. I expect him to just be on this dude, um, you know, establish the jab, you know, straight, boom. We'll see, man. I, I mean, I expect him to put his head in his chest and get out of him, man. He was putting a lot of pressure on me. I was bringing him in when he was my third sparring partner. So, you know, I would see him around in the ninth round. We did that because, you know, Edna's a little smaller than me. You know, a lot smaller than me, really. So, you know, I got most of my work in, then brought him in for four final rounds, man. And uh, he's a good fighter, bro. He's a good fighter, you know. I don't know too much about his opponent, so I'm just going to see, and I'm going to be cheering for him and shouting out adjustments as I see B. Right on. Now, um, now that it's been a couple days since Saturday, since your last fight with Sean Porter, and you had a chance to reflect and, you know, watch it on TV. I haven't even watched it on TV, actually. Um, how do you critique that fight? Well, I haven't actually uh, watched it on TV yet yeah, myself, either TV. like you, man. But um, for the most part, I was in it. So, you know, I might be able to see just a few things, but I know what was happening. You know, um, I, was on, I was on the ropes, you know, a lot of defense, 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 tight. There are moments where I decide to walk him down, push him back, and do what I normally do, man. I, you know, a fight's not gonna be one-dimensional unless if I really want it to be one-dimensional. Otherwise, it's gonna be like tug of war. It's a little give, little take, little give, little take. Right. And y'all got a lot of that that night, you know? Right. Um, it was a great fight, very competitive fight. And um, my game plan was to use that defense and use my crisp punching with my power punches to separate me from Sean Porter. And that's pretty much what we did that night. Right. Now, you've stayed in one spot more than, you know, I've ever, I feel like I've ever seen you stay. Yeah. So was that like a dumb down of your skills just to please the fans? I know you paid homage to um, Ali at certain points, but uh, do you think that you could have made it easier on yourself? Um, with, there is a way, you know, it would have been it would have been less entertaining. It wouldn't have been as action packed. But another thing is, you know, I predict that they were going to predict that I was going to run. Right. Mm -hmm. So he had a lot of footwork on cutting off the ring, doing this, doing that. And it would have been a big battle. I would have had a pivot move. You know, I could have I could have blocked, held more, you know, done different things. I didn't want I didn't want to use the other strategy. Right. I knew that come on bro, you wanna bring it? Bring it. Give me that onslaught. I'm gonna take it like a true champion does and I'm gonna overcome it. You know? It wasn't the prettiest of victories, but it was a path and a road to victory nonetheless. Ended up being the most exciting fight of my career. Um, we're victorious, so, you know, I don't got a problem, man. You know, there, you could always, I could always box more, I could have moved more, but it would have been a completely different style of fight. And at the end of the day, all I needed was a way to win, and I found that. Right. Now, uh, Keith, I mean, I'm sorry, Sean is, is trained by his father. Man. He's got two losses on his record. Uh, do you think that you, you criticize a, a little bit of his style right after the fight at the press conference? Uh, do you think that it's time now for him to, you know, I don't know, kind of get a world class? Well, not that his dad is a world, not that uh, his father is a world class as a trainer, but do you think at some point these guys have to kind of, you know, move on, you know, to try to learn or do something? different possibly man um, but at the end of the day man it's all about practice you know if they want to learn and do something different all they got to do is apply it in the gym first mm -hmm. in the ring second and then bring that what they applied back into the ring on fight night you know um, I used to be as an amateur very one-dimensional you know the trainer over there would tell you himself, you know, move forward, punch him, you know. And 
I barely had a jab. It was more like a measuring stick so that I can hit you with my right hand and my left hook. You know, so throughout the years, I worked on the jab. Throughout the years, I worked on the lateral movement. And, you know, once when I worked on it enough, I got to understand the technique truly for myself. And then I could use it, I can use different things at will. You know, um, Sean Porter was trying to move backwards. He was trying to box. He was trying to be effective on the outside a little bit. It's just, um, you know, maybe he still doesn't have enough of that underneath his belt. Maybe in time he will become smoother. Maybe they are going to go back to the drawing board and readapt, you know. Um, but another thing, too, is that every fighter has his strengths and every fighter has his weaknesses, you know. Um, Sean, he loves to outwork his opponents. Yeah. But if he wants to continue with that style, he's going to need to continuously outwork them, but find the angles to make his punches more effective and not treat his opponent like a punching bag standing in front of him. Yeah, exactly. you know? so, so, so there's a lot of different things that a fighter can do. You, you can just make yourself better, you tighten up that defense. You know, with, with, with the kind of offense that Sean Porter has, it's the defense that got him um, beat against Kell Brook. It's the defense that got him beat against me because once when our power punches come in and they come in cleaner right. because we're using defense, so his offense and what is tagging a little bit, it's not as cleanly effective. You know, it's not popping through, making our heads shift around as much. You know, if he had a tighter tuck sometimes after throwing those, putting the hands back up, having the padding up against his face, you know, uh, maybe a few combinations wouldn't be getting through, which would let the judges be like, well, you know, this guy did, at one point, he did try to fight back. It wasn't enough. Sean got the best of him. Sean got the best of him. You know, so there's, there's options, man. There's definitely options in the sport of boxing.